one, two, we inside. All right, we inside. We're flying this evening. Welcome, Jazzy, out of Trinidad and Tobago. What going on, brother? Medea, Medea, Medea. Good to be in the building. Big shout to the entire Righteous Vibes Radio family, to you and your beautiful wife, the entire listening population, those tuning on YouTube. Good to be in the building. All right, all right. Blessings to you, Jazzy. How are you doing? What's up? I'm doing good, man. By God's grace, I just finished watching the, the Euro um, 2020 final. There. <laughs> I, was back, I was back in um, Italy from the start of the tournament and they brought it home. So I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I'm if you tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my brother. To kick things off, just tell us five things that describe Jazzy. Um, Jazzy is passionate, um, he's a husband, he's a father. Um, he's energetic and um, he, he, he has a passion for integrity. He, he, he loves Christ and integrity. Okay, That's five, okay. five words. Okay, blessings, <laughs> blessings. Um, Jazzy, why the name Jazzy? How do you come up with that name, Jazzy? Oh, my, my, my um, given name is Jaziel, right? Okay, Taken Jazzy. from the scriptures, okay. it means allotted or part of God. And I guess it was too long for people um, to remember Jaziel. So everyone in my family just started to call me Jazzy. And um, it was a fitting nickname even when I jump into radio and singing and stuff. And that's, that's the name that I run with. Okay. All right, my brother, tell us who Jazzy is. Uh, Jazzy is a, a young, as I said, passionate uh, believer that God had called from the things of the world. I was living a life um, that I was saved. You know, many would think is the life, you know, and the Lord had called me and called me to his marvelous light. And now I'm I'm able to share using my, my giftings in music, uh, in the art of radio, uh, in the art of teaching. You know, I, I have my own academy, Top Class Academy, where we give C CXC lessons. Um, I have a group called Fit in the Kingdom. Um, so it's about using the things of God to kind of advance the kingdom. Uh, that's who Jazzy is right now. And as I said, he's a young uh father and husband and that's some of the main themes uh in this season of my life that i'm running with right now so jazzy tell me how the radio person personality presenter present presenter, presenter came about came about i know the yeah, music well, start um i see and I, I know reggae um jamaica is the home of reggae and i grew up uh in a pretty reggaematic family um where my uncle and my dad at that time my stepdad um, they were DJs, and um, they would have enough artists passing through. You all would know artists like um, Merciless and Egyptian, and they would be passing through the studios. And so when they're micing and stuff and they're singing, me and my two cousins, we would just sit there and just marvel at the art. And so we, be, we, we began to use the mic, and they would let us come to the studio from a tender age. I can remember singing um, Garnet Silk's Christ in his kingly character, um, <laughs> at the age of, of three years old and I would have a mic and a recorder and we would just be vibing whole day from morning till night um, and we just grew and grew and grew until one day I was driving and I heard that they were looking for the next announcer I wasn't a big radio man per se like to tune into radio but obviously the art of mic and toasting I believe they call it in Jamaica yeah. mic and DJ and thing we are real love that and they, they asked for the next radio announcer they were having a youth competition um, I know Jamaica as well, they would have um, intercal where the schools would play football in sec at the secondary school level. So they had that now in the announcer sense and DJ sense where song systems would go up against each other, but you had to be young. You still had to be in school, right? And I was in form six at that time and I was driving in the car and I, and I, and I heard the opportunity come and I went to talk to my cousins. They were big DJs at the time. They were called the Lion Twins. Um, I was more doing it as a kind of hobby. They were doing it in a more kind of professional sense, but they had slowed down. So I talked to them and I said, yo, I hear this, this thing, they're looking for an next announcer. Um, what are you all for? Um, so the, the one who was the DJ, he was like, yeah, let's partner. And when the one who was the DJ here that I was going up, the one who was the mic man for their song system line, so they were a DJ and mic man, he said he wanted to join too. So both of, all of us sent in demo. So I with one of the DJs and he with, with, with one of the, D, the same DJ sending a demo. We both got picked. And then they say, yo, you all have the same DJ that can't work. It's either you all compete against each other 
or you all join up with each other. And so we decided to join up with each other. We formed a triple threat, Lion Twins and Jazzy. And we won the competition. It was the number one urban radio station. And we got a prime shift on a Saturday from about 1 to 4 p.m. called Saturday School. So we was locking the, the, the youth market at that time on the number one urban station. And um, that's how the radio came in. We, we won the competition. So how that transition over now to W107? With you and Bad Well, Oak. right. So, well, um, that was at about age 19. That was about 2011, there about. But before that, um, I was reading my scriptures. I got in a Bible. And I was reading a chapter a day from the age of 13. Because listening to, to reggae music, in a sense, too, and growing up with my family, were God-fearing, in a sense, um, they would always say, go to your scriptures. Um, so I, I started to read a chapter a day, keeps the devil away. From age 13, 14, 15, 16, now I'm on radio, right? And um, not only I'm on radio, I'm in university now, and I meet a brother who is living the full gospel life. Um, two brothers, Andre and Jared. And um, I kind of start to look at myself too, you know, you look at, you look in a mirror, and you, you see these living epistles and you wonder, you know, you read in your Bible, but you're still partying, you still have this kind of music um, playing on radio about gal this and gal that and gangster thing and this and that and at that time while i was in university with them and stuff and was looking at their life and we was chatting and becoming close friends yeah i was in the book of revelation at that time with my chapter day i had already made three revolutions around the bible from genesis to revelation so this was the third time yeah. so i had a better understanding of scripture right. and the scripture some people like john 3 16 this is revelation 3 16. it say i would rather you be hot Mm. or cool brethren warm. but because you are lukewarm i will spew you out of my mm. mouth and though i was in university at that time i didn't know what spew mean but thankfully that bible had a little arrow and then you could go below and see what spew mean right. i want to look at spew it meant vomit and so i read it over i would rather be hot from a jazzy or cool they see when you're in the, in the middle and you're mixing you're in the fence you're lukewarm I will vomit you out and that rock me to the core. And that verse just stick with me for days. Um, there was a friend I was seeing. Um, we weren't sexually active, but we would have kissed something. And I started to break up that I say, I don't want to kiss no more. And she's like, What? You can um fanatic or something? Or? <laughs> I had to break, I had to break that. So that that mash up your relationship, um, whatever relationship there was there. Um I stopped, I stopped partying and Trinidad, we had a culture where um, we have a culture where you wine on girls and things. So for me to kind of ease my tension, I say I wouldn't wine on girls. I'll just go to the party. And then eventually the Lord had to convict me to stop, to come out of the environment. And then the last thing I was sensing that the Lord was calling me out of was radio. And I spoke to the program director. I said, you know, I feel the Lord calling me and I don't feel um this is my thing anymore i want to live my life you know for christ and i don't think this lining up with the scriptures and he was like jazzy because they, they are really like my talent they're really like me they say he say he say um jazzy um we leave in the door open for you you'll come back in three months i'm sure you'll come back in three months there's just a phase you're going through they might always say that you know? Know. and to God be the glory. I don't know if the door is still open, but I've never, I've never returned never in that sense. Amen. You know, bless the um, Lord. I was, a, as I say, I was a young man at that time. I was 19 years old. I felt like I was on top of the world because I was on the number one station. Um, I felt like life was good, but the the conviction of the Holy Spirit was just overwhelming. I couldn't, I couldn't stay where I was. Wow. And the Lord, so the Lord called me out and I answered the call. I mean, you would know DJ Roberts and, and um, your wife as well. You would know the art of radio, just playing those effects, talking to people, mm -hmm. encouraging people, playing the music, the way songs tie in. You just love the art too, son. I leave, I leave that. And then I start to feel for it now. Thankfully, one of my, the same brethren who was there, his sister is Adana, and she, um, her intended at that time was DJ Christchild. And they were working on a, another frequency, just doing Sundays. And they invited me to come on. And I didn't know what gospel radio would be like. I thought it would be, can I come from the world in a sense? And I, I said, I, I got to know my scriptures. I got to be a theologian. Um, you know, I got to preach something. I didn't know what it would be like. And then I come 
I see that it was a vibe and I was able to use my urban flair, you know, the things that I had learned um, to apply it in a youthful sense, a vibrant sense. And then from there, I just grew from strength to strength. Eventually, the late Jamie Thomas shoot me a call and they say they're coming up with W107 at 24-7. This was just Sundays on a Sunday morning. Now they're doing a 24-7 gospel frequency and they wanted me to be a part. And I guess to make a long story short, things just kicked off from there on 107. And I started to go from strength to strength, eventually releasing a Parang song. Parang is um, like a festive kind of thing that we have around Christmas time here in Trinidad. Yeah. I released a Christmas song and then a next Christmas song the next year. And then after that, I did Zion, which is one of the tracks on my debut album that you were playing some of the songs from on just now. Right. And the Lord has been taking me from strength to strength um, by faith. Let, let the listeners hear this one, Zion. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first kind of official one. That's right, I'm moving to Zion this evening. Listen now! That's right, Zion is my home. Loving this one from back then until now, Jazzy. <laughs> yeah, man, 2016, and it still plays in Trinidad here and a couple of places abroad. And people still still liking that one, man. Grateful, grateful for the ministry, bro. So I know you got a brand new single out. What's the, what's the title of the single? Like you you said the title. The title the title of the single is So Fly. So fly. What's the inspiration behind this one? Well, I, I give the story that, that Body Rock, my DJ, he DJs with me on radio, um, but he's a super producer. He sent this rhythm to me while I was doing a, 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 a recording, a video series for a particular media house. And in the middle of it, I heard the rhythm and immediately felt in love. I call him, I say, who this rhythm for you? Just trying to just take him open, you know, what hmm. is for? He said, nah, bro, this this for you, this for you, I hear you on this. And immediately, I got a vibe on it. And then we bounced up at an event um, where they were mimicking, it was, it was called the wedding. They was mimicking the, the church as the bride, so everybody dressed up in white and like a wedding they was going. But it was really a praise event now because the Christ is the groom. Right. And so we had to DJ and stuff there. And so Buddy Rock and I bounced up there and I started talking about the song. And we, we shared ideas. He said he, he wanted it, the part to come out where we are expressions of Christ. You know, we are expressions of Jesus Christ. So in one of the lines is here, manner expression outwardly. You know, yes, Christ lives in us, but we ought to be outward manifestations. And then I wanted the notion where I find many times as believers, we want to follow the world now. Um, but we call to set the trend. We are trailblazers. So that's why the opening line in the song is, fresh off the jet manner, trendsetter, oh. not of this world, my jet better. You know, and I wanted to encourage young people that, yo, we can fly high in Christ. Encourage yourself like David. Don't look to the world for encouragement. Don't look to be like the world. We have everything we need in Christ. And we can fly high in Christ. And it took on another meaning for me recently before I released this song because this was recorded since last year and put down. I was just waiting for the right time. Um, my brother, uh, JT, he passed away, Jimmy Thomas. And I played this record the same day, I believe, that he passed away. And when I, when I listened to it, you know, it had the effect as well that yes, we're on a flight and we ought to fly high in Christ and fly high in purpose. Amen. But one day, if you listen to the second verse, 
could have come first class or fly coach. Once you're upon that flight, one day we bust a toast. Mm. You know, meaning that, yo, we will meet the loved ones that we lost. Those that we lost to the pandemic. Those that we lost to probably crime. Those that we have lost to illness. Um, the saints, one day we will meet them at that final destination. But until then, we must fly high. So that was the idea behind the song. Just want to welcome um, some of our viewers and uh, YouTube and on our website. We got DJ Apache Finger out of Connecticut in the UK. We got Roy One, Roy F One in Canada locked in. DJ really? Sticker, what go on? Welcome family. Yo, my brother Sticker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Sister Mavis and the Concord School locked in, and you're also live and GL Chicks of Five Moods Radio in the UK in Grand Cayman and the Vice FM 97.7 FM dial. Also want to say a good evening and blessings to our sister Faye. I see you locked in, my sis. So we're going to let listeners hear that brand new track from Jazzy out of China and Tobago. So fly. Enjoy. Calling all passengers for flight 777. This is the final call. <laughs> Are you getting ready to fly this evening? Final call! Tune come from Tuneville, right out of Trinidad and Tobago from our brother Jazzy. Where are Yo, yo, the tune are audio. My know. brother, I can see the, I can see the, 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 the passion when you, when you're singing, you're there, um, on, on Zoom, you know, listening to the song and singing, singing it by yourself. Trust me, yeah, it's a good thing to be yeah. close to God. A close, a, I have a real close connection with this record. I think for me as well, it kind of encapsulates. 
the life of a believer, especially a, a young believer, you know, for us to be encouraged. Jesus, give us the remedy. Amen, Our man. ticket booked eternally. eternally. And once we know that, man, we got to live that full life, that full life in Christ. Amen. You have one Tell me, go on in the dirt, me and rep and recruit. It's a call as well. That's, that's <laughs> last, I believe in, in Matthew, the book of Matthew, the last command, you know, go on into the world and make disciples. Right. So where the listeners can go and support this single? Right now, um, keep a lock to RVR and of course all the radio stations request it. Um, it's on YouTube right now as a lyric video. Um, so if you want to check out the lyrics, you want to vibe to the music, it's on YouTube. It's going to be out on Spotify and iTunes in just a bit. Uh, right now we, you know, sizzling on YouTube and um, we're also on radio. So keep a lock to RVR, request it um, on all your favorite radio stations. And um, you can catch me on social media and, you know, vibe tech there as well. It's on my social media at Jazzy The Voice on Instagram, J-A-H-Z-Y The Voice. And uh, if you're searching for my music as well on the YouTube, it's Jazzy, J-A-H-Z-Y So Fly. Okay, my brother. Well, I see, um, to kind of backtrack a bit, I see your shirt. Can you just raise up a bit? Let me see that shirt. Top Class Academy. You mentioned it when you first started. Um, tell us what this is about. Um, Top Classes Academy is a place where, you know, we uphold um, the Christian values um, with respect to education. Of course, it's math, uh, English, um, ad uh Spanish, different subjects at the CSEC level and uh, CXC level. Um, adults as well, they come to repeat here. But as I say, we provide that, 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 that clean Christian environment um, for people to come on and learn. Yeah. Okay, bless God, bless God. Blessings to wife here. Yeah. I think I heard a little baby in the back there. <laughs> yeah, that's probably that's probably her. And of course, um, this would have been my wife's idea as well. Yeah. Um, she has a heart for young people and a heart for education as well. So that's where Top Class Academy was was built. Amen. Okay, my brother. So just keep on doing what you're doing for the Lord and for His kingdom that you continue to build. Because we really need a lot of persons right now who will build the kingdom of God. And, you know, there are so many things that can help to tear it down. But we as kingdom ambassadors must Amen. help to bring and to build it up. Amen. It was a pleasure having you right here and of your 24-7 in all of Jamaica, bro. It's a pleasure. And behalf of the entire RVR family and connecting stations, we want to say thank you, my brother. And next time, bring some roti that we can get for you. Here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> By next week, I can bring roti right on the place. Lockdown. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but no stick out with a love some roti. Me not like <laughs> The boy, love him belly, no man. <laughs> so bless up again, Jazzy, and the whole family and Yo. the whole team. I make sure when we bring the roti, you bring some nice jerk chicken. Eh? Yo, we have that plenty, don't you? You can't, <laughs> you can't done that. <laughs> all right, blessings, bro, all right? Yeah, man, love when you ask. Thanks so much for the opportunity to all the listeners. Love when you ask. Connect with me on Instagram at Jazzy The Voice. Yeah, blessings, man. my brother. <laughs> Calling all passengers for flight 777. Yes, that was... Uh... That was our brother Jazzy. Yes, Jesus Christ is a remedy.